having a conversation with girlfriend over possible future, when she shuts everything down. I dated a girl early 20s a bit about half a year ago, while she was on a break from her ex-relationship. There's about 700 kilometers between us, in different European countries. We chat every day all day and are having kinda serious discussions about our future, but it's all in the some unknown distant future. She is still friends and roommate with her ex that she was in a bad relationship with for about six years. She loves both of us, and she currently doesn't want to be in a relationship with anyone, but she says that she'll eventually love to be with me. My problem is that she gives me some very vague and contradictory answers to some questions, and they are sometimes opposite to her actions. For example she tells me she wants to be alone, but doesn't want to get her own apartment. When I ask her directly some questions she either simply ignores it, or replies with a conversation ender like, okay, if you say so, or just sad emoji. If I push harder she usually gets angry, saying that I don't ever agree with her. I've tried the approach with I statements but that just gets her to continue with okay or sad emojis, or turns the discussion about how horrible she is and why do I even want her. If I try to comfort her then the conversation completely railroads and the discussion ends. If we're talking about some specific thing that I'd love to be handled differently she tells me how everyone hates everything she does. What doesn't help is that both her family and her ex are treating her very abusively, using direct insults to get their way and she believes that kind of talk is valid about her, i.e., her mother called her a terrible daughter because she didn't look something up online the moment mother asked her to. How can I approach conversation with her about stuff that's relevant to me, like her future relationship with me or her ex, without her completely shutting down conversation? I would love to have some answers, whatever they are, to know if there is really some future for us or not. I would also love to get to know her reasons for doing and saying contradictory stuff. Clarifications from comments. We usually talk via texting, sometimes video. I tried to have a serious conversation on video too, but it got similarly shut down, with mostly silence. If I ask her what she wants, for now or short term future, she answers that she doesn't know. I can't really visit her, especially now during quarantine, but she doesn't seem to be ready to live alone. At one point she mentioned it's a bit scary, but I can't get her to continue conversation about it. This sounds complicated, and I've been in her position and it is not an easy one. When I was in my early 20s I was in a controlling and verbally abusive relationship. My father was similar toward myself and my mother, so it was the norm for me. I was definitely unable to break out of that for a long time, and it took someone saying to me that I needed to break free and giving me an out. I did leave for another relationship, I moved in with him and ultimately that did not work out either. I had no idea who I was or what I wanted at that age, having never lived on my own. However, I was also really unable to see how my actions affected others. The best way to handle this situation might be to give her more of what will feel like an ultimatum. I enjoy spending time with you, and I want our relationship to continue. However, I am unable to maintain the situation the way it is and watch you allow people to continue to make you unhappy. Framing it like this lets her know you're serious, and that this affects you, too. Then, you can insert what you need. Do you want her to move in with you? Move out on her own? Once you can identify what that next step would be, try saying that to her. Offering reminders like, I am here for you, and want to help our lives come together, what can I do to make that happen? Ultimately, though, if she's still living with her ex, there is a reason for that. It is a very unhealthy place for her to be, and unfortunately, until she decides to make a change for herself, it is unlikely she will do something because you requested it. It is also probably not good for her to lean so heavily on you as an escape from that situation because it clouds judgment about what she may really want. I also just want to say that it is not wrong for you to decide this is not right for you, either. It is incredibly difficult to help someone who doesn't want or think they need the help. The emotional distance you have described her to exhibit is a good example that she's not in a healthy place and that may not be good for you, either.